the day before Christmas and Santa was ill. Reading one of his favorite books, Henry Rogers has hit major milestones since our last visit in November 2016. He can stand up, is starting to talk, and loves to cruise, pushing anything he can walk behind. I can't imagine how great he's going to feel once he gets a new kidney because I don't think dialysis does the full job of what a kidney really does. Diagnosed before birth, Henry was born premature at 34 weeks with end-stage renal failure. <laughs> he needs a kidney transplant and is so close to finally getting one. Oh, for the last year, the Children's Organ Transplant Association, with the help of the Loveland community, Hi. Would you like to donate something? has raised $100,000 for Henry's surgery and post-op medication. The response from Cincinnati and from Loveland has been amazing. We just cannot thank everybody enough. The final piece for Henry is the kidney transplant itself from his living donor. After exhausting their list of immediate and extended family members, a friend from the family's church was a match, and she only needs a few more final tests before surgery. It was too good to be true at first. We were waiting for the, you know, the bad news of something to disqualify her, but so she finally got the approval. Yes, Henry. For Henry, big sister Annie, Elizabeth, and Greg Rogers, a new kidney will transform their lives. They've never been able to travel outside of Cincinnati as a family of four, and this is the tickle, one tickle, gift they've tickle, all tickle. been waiting for. Uh, tickle, tickle, tickle. Mwah. I'm hoping it'll it'll wrap up this month, is the hope, because I would like to tell Henry that he's going to get a kidney for Christmas. Henry's living donor is a mom herself, and even though she is an adult, Henry is now big enough to receive her kidney. Their surgeries, once they are scheduled, will take place at Cincinnati Children's Hospital. Emily Wood, WLWT News 5. Awesome.